Uh, Shevin, um, congrats on the win. Uh, you know, uh, how does it feel to start this season off uh, on the note that you guys just did? Uh, thank you, and all. I mean, it feels great uh, just to get that first win. I mean, in the beginning, we had all our jitters, but we got it out. I mean, I want to thank the the O line, the O line controlled the line of scrimmage. Uh, they did good the whole game. Um, the receivers, our running backs, especially our defense, the four, four turnovers. I mean, they they got us the ball on the right on the right side of the field. You know, for you, it was the first game you started and got to finish on the road. Um, what was that like for you, uh, that environment, you know, even though there was no fans? I mean, it was just like a, another day in practice. I mean, fans are not, um, we're still going to play our ball. Um, we're still going to play as a team, phys physical. I mean, and just do us. Congratulations, Chef. Great game. Uh, what was the, the mood in the locker room like? Uh, give us kind of a, an inside look of what that was. Uh, pretty pretty happy group. I mean, yeah, it was, it was all jumping around, playing the music, and breaking the rock. I mean, it was, it was great vibes. What was it like to break the rock? I mean, it's our tradition now. And, I mean, getting picked to break the rock, I mean, it, it meant a lot. But I mean, it didn't just go to me. I mean, the whole, whole O line. If it wasn't for the O line, I mean, nothing would have been possible, and especially the defense too. Just the best uh, running attack that you've had uh, at your weapons since you've uh, since uh, any start you've had basically here at UH. Oh yeah, we got Miles, Day Day, Calvin, plus our plus the O line we have, and especially the receivers that can go vertical and. I mean, run any route. I mean, we just got to be able to do our job and and just be great at it. And then... Did you have to tell your uh, – or did you talk to your offensive line, obviously, the, the sacks right away, um, but then they really turned it around and made some holes and got you protection? Uh, did you even say anything to them, or did you just kind of just let them do their thing? I mean, in the beginning, all of us had our jitters, so they just had to get it out. And after, like, the, the three drives in the beginning, I mean, you can tell that – they're they're playing their game. On that third and two, what were you thinking of uh, to end the game? Where uh, it was the fourth quarter, you could have given them ball, the ball back and some momentum. But what did you see on that third and two play that you went fifty-four um, yards on? I mean, the coach called the play to me. I I just my mindset was just to get the first down, and then once I made that cut back to the left and I saw open, opening, I just took it and I. I mean, I didn't want to go out of bounds, but at the same time, I tried to score. But, I mean, it was, without the O-line making the holes and Calvin with the, the block, or even the receivers making the blocks, I mean, nothing is possible. Uh, Kelvin, just talk about Kelvin Turner's performance, just him having him out there, just kind of that other option. I mean, it's great just even though running the um, – the power, I mean, just having him running a third and one or fourth and one, I mean, he it's a great add-in. And, um, I mean, without all our running backs, I mean, all, we had, like, how much total rushing yards? Like, 300? 300 rushing yards? Um, so, I don't, I don't remember when we had that before, but, I mean, we have to run to open the pass. And, I mean, and then three is great. Eugene, uh, how'd those two picks feel? I mean, I got to give it all. All the credit goes to my D-line. Them boys was getting after that, that quarterback, you know, putting pressure on him. I mean, that's the bigger business we made throughout the week. I mean, throughout these time of practicing for Fresno State. So I'll give all the credit to them, most definitely. But it felt good. It felt good. Did, did the wait for how long it took in between your interceptions, obviously, for your freshman year, and now obviously getting the two today, uh, did it make that a little extra sweet, how long you had to wait? Man, it's been like I've been biting my nails every time I step on the field, you know, praying for those opportunities to come my way. And, you know, with this new defense putting pressure on that quarterback, it definitely opportunity presented itself a very few times. You know, my goal was to, you know, break the record. I almost tied it, but, you know, we got a long season ahead. So I'm excited. And breaking rock, too, in, uh, in the locker room after. What's the, what was the atmosphere like in there? Man, it was, it was amazing. Amazing. Shevin breaking that rock. We're going to break a rock every week. That's the goal. So, you know, that new tradition is kind of, it's kind of uh, fun, you know, 
just breaking it. That's the goal, you know, after every game, just go break that rock. Um, you know, with a new with a new scheme and a lot of new uh, guys playing different positions, um, how would you say the eleven of you gelled um, on the field at the same time? Um, it, the chemistry is great because Coach Graham had a had a I say a, a strategy of putting people in positions that fit them best. So basically, he watched film. That guy's a fanatic. That coach, coach Graham is a fanatic of watching film. So he he watched film on every single player that steps on the field and putting them in position where you know they can know, you know they can make big plays. So that position, I mean, everybody's working together, and then it, I mean, the turnout was what we wanted. Easier than you thought playing in front of no fans. Say it again. Was it uh, was it easier, a lot different, or just playing with no fans there? Really, was it uh, was that a little you know finding the juice? Was that a little easier than you even expected out there? Um, I mean, it didn't really take a toll on the, on the game a little bit. I mean, we kind of were like our own fans, you know, the excitement on the sideline with our guys being locked in and just helping us out. You know, the guys that were on the sideline, I mean, just cheering us on. That was all we needed right there. So just having each other on the sideline is good enough for us for this season. But we understand that our fans, you know, are watching. So we're going to put on the show for them no matter what. Was your phone blowing up? Uh, I haven't even looked at my phone yet. I haven't looked at my phone yet. I had showered and tried to, you know, have fun with the guys first, but I'm about to look at it right now. I know my mom's probably going crazy. <laughs>